City. Migos, who did uh, Hannah Montana and Versace, are here filming a video. Uh, so far, the basic theme is um, girls dancing with their asses behind them and money being showered upon said girls. It's funny between takes, everybody's just kind of like checking their phones, kicking around the dollars on the floor. All the girls are sort of doing exercises in a way that um, reminds you of you know, kind of classic ballet warm ups. Good video though, I assume there's just a few more shots and then we'll get to hang out. Young Rich Nigga. Migo! Honorable Young Rich Nigga. Quavo! She's a stripper naked dancer, but she begging me to wife. When the first Migos are three cousins from Gwinnett, whose Tourette style Mad Lib rap has anchored their place at the top of the hip hop game and endeared them to even the widest corners of mainstream music in the space of a year. She don't wanna be a freak no more. She don't wanna take my little kid geek no more. She don't even wanna strip no more. She don't wanna see the pole. Cause your nigga walking straight in with the gun. I apologize. You know that my niggas, they witnessed you naked. You want me to tie her now? Oh no, no, no. She must be crazy. After the shoot, Migos invited us back to see their new pad. Though we thought they might have given us the slip since it seemed highly improbable that Migos live in a country club in suburban Stockbridge. Okay. Hey, have a great Migos in there. Thanks. So, they do live in a country club. Hey, what's going on? How y'all doing? How's it going? Uh, what's going on? I'm Jarrell, man. I'm Thomas. Just skip with a flip right here. He the shooter. Hey. What's up, bro? How you doing? All right. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. lots of them in this house. Everybody just having their own. Everybody personal. having their own one. Just in case, what could happen, man? Yeah. Might get fucking shot for real. But see, I ain't gonna fucking miss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy your fucking head, man. <laughs> Y'all ready? In keeping with its suburban milieu, the Migos place looked a little more like kids with a lenient mom's house than your standard rap mansion. Come on, yeah, these all, you know, these, these all Migos. Welcome to the Migos, welcome to the, to the mansion, from the Bando to the mansion. That's a sick chain you got. Yeah, this is a real good chain. Wow. Major love. Mm. What's up, homie? How you doing, player? All right. All right. What's up, homie? Hey, Julio. How you doing? What the fuck going on, man? What's up, buddy? Migos in the bed. <laughs> That's a lot of weed. Came in luxury right now, man. It's got like a clubhouse vibe to it, like a good hangout spot. Is that an AR-15? Brand new out the box. You know what I'm saying? You guys have a lot of uh, a lot of artillery here. You gotta be all protective, you know. Yeah. A lot of wild things going on in the culture these days. Even out here in Stockbridge. The guns aren't just for decoration. Right before we met them, Migos' fan got shot up in a highway gunfight after a show in Miami. Then right after we met them, one of their fans got shot and killed after a show in Gwinnett. What happened in Miami? Well, you see your stuff and shit go down like that. You just know how to protect yourself. We, got, we know how to handle our situation, but we worry about now. Then three months after that, Quavo got bum-rushed at his own show and had his QC chain stolen. Hey, no, not Migos! Migos out here buying this shit! Not Quavo! Possibly to be delivered to Chief Keef, who Instagrammed it. Which is all to say, having a little firepower at their disposal might be a prudent move. Wow! Oh, that. Gucci, how did you guys, how did you guys meet? He was on the internet searching. Yeah, he was on the internet. We went real yeah, crazy. Internet on lock too. We went crazy. We was going. We had a song called "Trapped Out the Bando." Bando. That song went crazy in the streets of Atlanta. It went real crazy. Trapping out the house with the boys on the windows. Trapping out the house with the boys. After Bando, Gucci set them up with his manager Coach K and producer Zaytoven, who helped them make their first official mixtape. So, so like we got different wordplay in different ways and we talking to chat. You gotta really analyze our wordplay. I got Miley, I got white. I've been trapping, 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 trapping all damn night. 
Yeah. Just like how you call weed trees. You know what I'm saying? Just like the napkin white. It's white like Hannah Montana. Yeah. She's white. Doesn't Miley mean uh, Molly now, though? Yeah, Miley yeah. mean Molly, so. <coughs> People call her Molly size instead of Molly size. What means Coke now? It's a, it means a lot of things. Anything that, anything that, anything that, that's white. How did you guys come up with Versace? Like everything else, like like Bando and like Hannah Montana makes sense because that's, that's like Versace street came, angle. When Zay told us sent the beat, they came out of this nowhere, just like Versace, 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 Versace. It was just, it was like it was like a chant first. So everybody was like, oh, that shit sound hard. So we're like, shit, should we say it, bro? Cause we sang Versace for a long time. We just keep saying Versace. We're like, man, fuck it, just do it. Then, then, God, then I, went, I went in there and did the first, the first level. And I went that far. Uh, that level. My drawers in the dirt like I work at Hibachi. Looking and watching, blah, I like some tacky. Come to my room, my seat, Versace. When I go to sleep, I dream Versace. When I sleep, I we meet Gucci, we played to him. He was just walking around saying Versace, Versace. So we knew, we knew it was a hit. We got a little studio downstairs where we started all our craft at. This is the bar. Yeah, this right here, man. This is the money making the studio. This right here where it go down there. Oh, yeah. Show on the boot, huh? That's it. Yeah, the red is on the That's it, right? That's DIY. Yeah, wow. Y'all yeah, thought y'all gonna see a big. Yeah, boy, yeah, we'll big key. crazy now. Yeah. This all we got. That's all you need, though, right? This all you need. Besides, I don't want to tell Fight night, handsome and wealthy. The whole wild ring mid take, whole Jill season mid take, whole uh, QC delay. Everything that we, everything that we did, you might just get it out the house. Even features and everything. You know, we have our our personal partners come to the house. Everybody can't come to the house. I don't think this a party house or nothing. Like that. One. Say you wanna live like a young rich nigga, like a young rich nigga. What you wanna do? Migos McMansion may not look like a traditional trap house, but it's still a functional trap house. And Migos themselves, despite being huge, still operate on the trap mentality, which sort of marries the independent savvy of like street level drug dealing with a more punk spirit of DIY. Everybody else talking about so many different trap shit in different ways. It ain't got it ain't got to be about. Cocaine and all that no more. You don't gotta be you trapping when you hustling when you going doing your thing when you grinding. We just do it a crazy different way now. President hit like I'm run with Obama. Where is Michelle? Wait, take over your city. I just claim, man. Go. You guys gonna stay independent or are you gonna start a sign with a major? Independent working right now for us. Yeah. Good. We independent me goes. We can throw everything we do. Call our own shot. Yeah. Call our own shot. We boss man. And we got a mindset, we don't stay in the city. Yeah. It's all about stacking money. Yeah. You stack money. It ain't about making money. You you made the money, but you, once you make it, you got to stack the money. Yeah. You got to get all the money. It's about getting all the money. You know the money bring them bitches. The bitches, the bitches on bitches on bitches on bitches. <laughs> In the last 12 months, man, we done broke two major artists. Migos was the first group we signed, and OG Maco. When I did my research the other day, no major label has done that. In the last four years. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. I'm always finding the next new one. Sometime you win, sometime you lose. 